It works. I feel really stupid now. I swear to God. Oh my God. Okay, well, that worked. Like, how did I not know about this? Well, yep, it's official. I'm pretty stupid. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Wow. That looks about a thousand times better. Oh, come on, guys. All I want to do is work. I just want to work and not cheat, okay? Because I don't cheat. Like some YouTubers. I just want to work, guys. That's all I want. Oh my god, he definitely didn't survive that. I heard somebody else, but you know what? I don't care. Okay. See how this stuff's stacked. Oh, I'm not making it. Whoa! Right inside the base. Okay, as you guys can see, I've opened it up in here. Uh, found out that you can use half logs for supports. Thank you guys in the comment section. I feel absolutely stupid. It's because I am. I had no idea you could use half logs for supports. And you can, just like that. And we were able to clear out the center. Make it a nice open area. And we were able to take out the support poles that were standing right here. Just like this. Now it's all open. We can go in and out with these. Just like that. It's perfect. The hell you want, man. I got an idea. Check this out. Slug ammo. Let's see if we can get a long shot from the hip. <laughs> you saw that at least i hope you saw that okay we're gonna piddle around with this some more see if we can take out some more supports we're gonna finish the floor right here around the sides right here as you can see we're just gonna make it look sexy that's all oh no i hate this thing with a passion Okay. Let's take care of this thing real quick. Oh my God, it got stabbed. Did you see that? It got stabbed on the wall. There we go. Good night, sir. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's put up our map, put up our axe. I got something to show you. So, I may or may not have used the half wall trick or the half log trick to clear everything out in here. It is so much more open. I did use the uh, half log supports, but to get that center out, I had to use the uh, half log trick and uh, it worked. So now we have an open space in here. It looks so nice. Oh, missed a spot. There we go. But we're going to continue to add to it. Because I think I've got an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but we're going to try. Yeah, it didn't work. But I like the way it looks anyway. This will be our main living area. And down below, we're going to implement half logs as well. By the way, what's up guys and gals? Welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Matt Vlad is the name. And Sons of the Forest is... The game. And in today's episode, we're pushing on with this build. You know, it's so weird that I'm saying Sons of the Forest now. We've talked about this for so many years, and it's finally here. Almost ready for the new update. That looks cool. So, I want to eliminate some of the supports down here. I think I've got a pretty good idea on how to do that. That way, we can create possibly an area right here and then barricade the outside. It's going to look nice down here. We're going to have a lot of space down here, without a doubt. But we're going to need a lot of half logs. So I'm going to do some experimentation, see if I can clear some of this out, and we'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like.
Well, this is embarrassing. Thank you for the skin sack. Yeah, this guy ran up on me while I was cutting, and now he's uh, sleeping against this tree stump, as you can see. Um, <laughs> sometimes after I get out of the shower, this is how I'll sit on the bed to kind of dry off, let everything air out, get proper flow. I don't know whether or not he's taking a shower, but he seems comfortable. All right, let's go back. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, forgot some logs. Oh, well. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I cleared out as much as I possibly could as far as support poles. And there was a couple spots that just would not let me, like this one and this one, it won't let me remove them. I don't know what I'm going to do. I even knocked down my entire base on accident and uh, had to uh, revert back to my safe because I took out a support that was holding up the entire base and it fell on my head. It was dope. But we're going to keep going and try to make this a little bit more efficient, a little bit more wide open. We'll see what we can do. What does that sound? Oh, there's dudes out here. This base turned out to be excellent. Like, absolutely excellent. I can't believe I'm just now implementing the half logs. I really, really, really feel stupid for not knowing that. What the hell? What happened to him? Oh, he ran into the spike. Let's see what happens. We're just going to chill right here. See what he does. Hey, guys. What's going on? Nice. <laughs> nice helmets. It's okay. You can hit them half walls. I don't care. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. <laughs> So he stepped into it and he just oh oh <laughs> oh yes yes oh man it made my day oh we need some bones we're gonna go ahead and burn these dudes I need to get my chandelier finished <laughs> This game got this so right. Got it so right. Got a couple things I want to cover in this gameplay. Oh, damn, he missed. No, he's burning. So, I don't know if people are trolling me, but they say that I have this high pitch noise in my microphone. Now, the odd thing is, Snip hears it too. He has HyperXs. There's been three other people with HyperXs, headphones, that said they hear the same thing. Maybe it's the HyperX headphones. I don't know. So I ordered me a pair. <laughs> and I'm going to test it myself. But I am in pursuit of better audio. I'm going to try. Even if I have to stick marshmallows on my wall to dampen the sound, that's what I'm going to do. But I will fix the sound if there is a problem. Now, a majority of you said you don't hear nothing. But, you know, just putting that out there. I do have literally the best audio interface one can get, I think. One of the best microphones you can buy, so I don't know what's causing it, if there is something happening at all. I could be getting trolled. A lot of people said that in the live stream that it was the sound of the fire, but no, there are people that are hearing a high pitch noise, including Snipper, and the only coincidence that I can gather from all of it is people are using HyperX headphones. They all hear the same thing, so I don't know. We'll get it fixed, though. These are open back headphones, so it could be that when I get my headphones close to the mic, you hear a feedback loop. I don't know. Regardless, again, we are working to fix it. As for the bottom of the base, like I said, we opened it up. We tried to make everything symmetrical, but even with the half log support beams, we couldn't get it completely open. We have to have a pole in the middle in order to make it symmetrical. I, I tried. Okay, I tried. But there's just no getting around that, I don't think. And if you have a suggestion, let me know down in the comment section. And again, guys, thank you. So this series has absolutely and utterly exploded, if that's even a word, my channel. And it's because you guys are taking the time to hit the like button. You see what's happening. 
If you want a channel to grow, you hit the like button. It helps out way more than you could ever imagine. But again, thank you guys for the continued support. This is easily, definitely, one of my favorite builds. Now, when the update comes out, I don't know exactly what they're going to change. I don't know if they're going to fix the floating structure problem. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But as far as looks, this is definitely my favorite base. This is pretty damn cool. It's extremely safe. It's extremely flat. It's in a perfect area. We've got the best view. And there's nothing we can't do. We get up here. We have a 360 view. Nothing is obstructing our vision. It's beautiful. Also, I want to talk about this game as a whole one more time. Because, oh my god, am I getting flack for saying that this is the best game ever made. Now you know me, man. I'm a YouTuber. I have to say things that gets people's attention. So sometimes I say some cringe things like, best game ever made, blah, blah, blah. But it's, you know, it's what I gotta do, man. But I wasn't lying. Okay? To me, this is the best game ever made because I love this game. But what I really meant was this is the best early access game from indie devs. That's what I really meant. A lot of misconception there, I know. There's a lot of people in the comment section saying about how much they're disappointed with this game. And that blows my mind. I don't understand. Like, what were you expecting? One, early access. It's in early access. Early access. It's not done. Two, just based on what they've given us, it's insane. Because I see the potential of where this game could possibly go. Where the devs, I think, could screw this up royally is if they don't leave it in early access for at least another year and a half, if not two years. They could turn this game into something insane. They have a solid foundation. When I say this game isn't perfect, but yet I gave it a 10 out of 10, which, yeah, I know that kind of defeats the purpose of 10 out of 10, but there isn't a single game on this planet that doesn't have its problems, is what I meant. For me, it's a 10 out of 10, because this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I expected from Midnight. It satisfies the hell out of me, because I love survival. It's my genre. I love first person. I hate third person. There are people out there that are completely flip-flop from what I just said. They hate first person games. I like them because they're realistic. You're looking through the perspective of the player's eyes, which is realistic. But then there's people that make the complaint about motion sickness, and I get it. I've had motion sickness pretty bad at some points in my life too. It is something that I got used to and, you know, I guess you could say trained to myself to be less affected by it over the years. But yeah, I love first person survival games where there's danger decapitations and all that fun stuff i love it it's perfect may not be your cup of tea i don't know what you guys think but i think i know what the majority of you think and that's this game's awesome and that it's gonna be dope er as the updates come out yeah i'm not knocking anybody for their opinion i just think as far as a foundation goes for an indie game i haven't seen one better and we've yet to play it on hard survival which we will be doing soon I just want to take my time with this game, man. I don't want to rush through everything. I feel like there's a lot of people out there that just, I don't know, they have the attention span of children. They're spoiled on AAA games, you know? I like indie games. That's my niche. I enjoy small teams of game devs accomplishing something crazy. And this is crazy to me for a small team. It's not a huge story game, you know? But it's got story. It's a survival game. It's what I love. And the reason I love survival games is because this is the way it should look in real life. Minus the, you know, millions of cut down trees looking like I'm building needs out here. But yeah, man, scenery is what brings me to a game. And I've yet to see a game, an indie game, with the beauty that this game holds. <laughs> it's breathtaking, man. I wish I was here for real. And that's, again, one of the reasons why I love this game so much. I love the outdoors. I love open spaces. And while I'm trapped down here in a studio... Games like this put me at ease. I love the earth. I love everyone on the earth. I don't like cannibals. It's just an extra added bonus. Anyway, that's enough rambling. You guys get what I'm saying. I just feel like people take some stuff to heart a little bit too much. Sorry for the out of context titles on my videos. <laughs> Again, I'm a YouTuber. Sometimes I say outlandish things to try to get attention. But I don't cheat. Okay? I don't cheat. Unlike some YouTubers that build skyscrapers and say they only did them in seven hours. Pfft, give me a break. I show my work with montages to prove to you guys that I'm doing it by hand. And I will always do it by hand. Unless I tell you I'm playing in creative mode, which I probably will never do. 
I like the grind. I like hard work. I don't like shortcuts. If I liked shortcuts, I'd be at a million, okay? But no, I'm enjoying my slow growth. I've enjoyed this entire time on YouTube. I want to celebrate and enjoy every single sub I get. I'm proud of my slow growth. I've evolved over the years, but it's been one hell of a ride. You know, pickles are always better with cheese. I don't know about you, but that's just me. Thank you guys again for all the feedback, too. I enjoy speaking to you guys in the comment section. Been doing that a lot lately. Not that I didn't do it before, but I'm doing it a lot here recently. It sounded like it hurt. Uh, if you quit moving your head, I'll put you out of your misery. There we go. I hate for animals to suffer. But I'm hungry. Oh, yes. Yeah, skulls. Skull heads, brap. Oh, I'm going to get this built real quick. Chandelier looks dope in here. Look at this. Ah, oh, I can't wait to get this done in here. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be lit up. We'll get to stay up all night instead of going to sleep, you know, drink soda pop. It's dope. I can't wait till they introduce uh, the solar panels and the electricity and all that. It's going to be insane. They are going to have solar panels, by the way. Whether or not it'll be in this update, I don't know. Oh, we need skull heads. Okay. Well, my lady done ran off again. That's always great. Let's cook us some meat real quick. Man, I really need to get rid of this stuff. I've had that rotten head in my inventory for months. All right. Let's drink us some energy drink. There we go. Go get our lady real quick. I'll be damned if I lose her too. I just forget about her, man. This feels kind of like, you know, the regular forest. What the hell is sticking out of my... Oh, it's a log. <laughs> anyway. I just get in the zone and forget about her. I know that's bad. Most women would leave too if they were being ignored. So I don't blame her. Bruh, what is this? Oh, that's right. Everything respawned. This is an excellent spot, man, for loot. We've got so many damn explosives. It's insane. All right, let's see where she's at. I'd have to pull out a gun. Just in case. Oh, she's down here by the water. Okay, she wasn't that far away. Let's put our gun up. I don't want to scare her. She's been carrying that rabbit this entire time. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. I'll skin it up. Listen, when we get back, when we get back to the civilized world, I'm taking you to the bounce house, okay? <laughs> Where is she going? She is just running. Yeah, I'll be leaving her in her tights from now on, by the way. I don't like any of the attire that they have for her. I, I like I like her ballerina outfit. Okay. It's nice. What is she pointing at? What what are you pointing at, my lady? What? Okay, come on. At some point, man, I want to get her a shotgun. We'll have to go back to that dig site and look for one. Because I can't quite remember where it is. Ooh. You know what's funny? I've got these exact same totes. Like lots of them. So I think I know what happened to her. She had a rabbit and was trying to give it to me and got stuck down there by the uh, by the river. Really strange. Having her around's good. But I don't know, man. She is a bit OP. I don't know how OP she's going to be in hard survival. I want to wait until they update the game to jump into hard survival. Update it maybe at least twice. I don't know. It depends on how far apart they are. Where the hell did she go? Are you serious? There she is. What is she doing? My lady. Camp's over here. Hey. Hey. Camp's over here. Calm down. Hey. Camp's over here. Hey. Hey. Camp's over here. She's just doing whatever the hell she wants. 
Walking back over there by the river. Oh my god. Where are you going? Hey! What are you doing? Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh god. She's getting wet again. That didn't sound right. Hey, it's nice and warm at my place. You want to come and, uh... Oh, my God. Hey, what are you doing? You can come to... <sighs> Never mind. Well, I'm going to go to the cool base over here and get warm, I guess. Maybe she's not a materialistic girl. Who knows? I just noticed this. I put two of the flash water trap. Wait a minute. That did that move? Man, we're gonna have to break that. Look at all the animals in the grass. It's no wonder I can't freaking keep my trap set. Look at this. Nice and dry. God, man. We need to wait around. Kill a bunch of cannibals to get that done. Because we need some light in here desperately. I'm going to put some furniture down. One thing I didn't know about chairs is that they refill your sleep. We're going to build this chair out of bones. I wish they like... I wish you could build everything out of bones. I love building stuff out of bones. I've got an excellent idea. Check this out. Let's put a bench up here. A bench. Not a bitch. A bench. There we go. We can sit up here and get our sleep back. Wait for cannibals and stuff, you know? Nice. See how well it works. I'm going to sit here and see how long it takes to refill our sleep. All right. Top of the morning. I still hear the sound of rain. I changed the color grading to Blockbuster. I don't know if I like it. Yeah, no, I like the default better. Also, my graphics were not turned all the way up, which is very, very strange. But we turned off motion blur <laughs> and everything else, and now we've got the graphics kicked all the way on Ultra. I've played this game this entire time with the graphics not on Ultra, which is weird, but whatever. It has taken me a very, 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 very long time to build this base and get this structure. An extremely long time. Another thing I noticed in the menu system is that you can turn building destruction off so you know what that means. We're going to build another trap base, and this time we're going to catch everything except for the big slinky monsters because they glitch through walls. But we need to pick a good place to do this. I don't know if I'm going to do it here or not. I mean, this is a very flat, wide open area. I just don't know if there's enough room to put a prison base. I don't know. I don't know if we'll make it as big as we did last time. You know it would be awesome. You know what we could do? We could literally convert this base into a prison base. All we'd have to do is put in half walls to block off this area. Put in steps or ramps on the outside so that all they have to do is walk up and drop in and they're screwed. They're stuck. We turn building destruction off. They're trapped. But yeah, this is definitely uh, the coolest base I've done. I've never built a base with apexes. I don't even know if that was a thing in the last forest. Yeah, I don't think you could do anything apex-wise in the original forest, but uh, this is about as apex as it gets. Triangular, but not a pyramid. It's functional. Very functional. Because we can go in. We don't have any doors. Nothing can get in those spaces because nothing can duck. Got a nice open loft. Nice chandelier. Got the basic amenities. We're still working on it. We've got exits at all four corners. We have a roof over our head. We'll soon have probably a fire right here in the center. A bed over here. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Smelling the outside ambience and aromas. Smelling the grass. The maple trees and the fresh bloomed flowers in springtime. This is ideal for me. This is where this is where I want to live. Wake up, no clothes on, just walk out on my giant apex building, climb up to the top, sit down on the bench, take a deep breath, 
Maybe smoke a turd. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful. We do need a bed, though. I am sick of saving the game out there. That needs to go, man. That's jank right there. So we're going to put up a stick bed down here. There we go. Let's get it nice and symmetrical. Just like that. We need more sticks. Let's do it. Damn! Oh my god! That is a long zip line. Okay. Let's get us some sticks, brap. Okay, we are full on sticks. Where the hell am I? Got lost in the woods a little bit. Okay, I know where I'm at. Yeah, this zip line is long. This is the longest zip line I've ever had. Let's go! I need to I need to reposition these zip lines. Yeah. Yeah, I want zip lines to literally come out right here at the top of these apexes, pyramids, whatever. And I want them to shoot out. I'll probably build a structure down below. That way I can manage where it's going. Just put four of them. But we're not done building. We're going to add a lot to this base. There's still a lot about the building that I don't know. Let's get this bed finished. We're going to have to kill some cantibolts. Bam! All right. Now we don't have to use that stupid tent outside. We can go ahead and get rid of it. Let's do that. <sighs> Probably get rid of this too. Get that out of here. Get it out. Ooh. Spiders. We need some skulls to finish our stuff. And there's no one around. We need a red blood moon. That's what we need. We need a blood moon night. We can either choose to skip it or, you know, we can sit back and either die or <laughs> kill everything in sight. I think that would be dope. I really want to test the limits of these zip lines. I think what we'll do is we'll put these zip line ties at the top of the base as opposed to down here. Because I think we might be able to get a little bit more stretch, a little bit more clearance from up here, which is obvious. I know. Shut up. I'm not stupid. You are. So let's pop this bad boy. You know what? I'll tell you what. I think we kind of need to line first. Need to figure out where we're going to put this thing. So we're going to take some logs with us too. We'll line up our corners as we back up. See how far we can get this thing. Man, we're hungry. We really need to eat and drink. Okay. Right? I think that's pretty good. There we go. Full stats. Let's grab a couple more logs. Let's see how far we can get this thing to stretch. Probably what I should do is I probably should place down a single log just to test it. Because it's, it's kind of hard to see back here, too. We'll have to knock out a bunch of stumps. But I do want it to be, like, right here on the top of this hill. If possible. Pull out the machete and get rid of some of this bush. Let's see if this works. That is a stretch, man. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Hit her right there. Oh, my God. There's a big dude right there. Let's see if we can shoot this thing. Yes! Nice! Big dude coming at us. Let's grab our shoddy. You didn't quite make it, sir. Ooh, I need his head. You know what's funny? I do have a head in my inventory. We'll just leave him there barebacked for now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think this was going to reach. Let's test it out. We might need to reinforce this, too. Let's pull out our axe. Because I know somebody's going to run up on it. Come on, man. Split it. There we go. I don't know if you can reinforce it down on the ground. or Let's just do this. Let's not do that. Damn it. Yeah, you can't reinforce it. I thought you could. That's stupid. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if we can uh, clear these stumps real quick. If we clear them, then I'm not going to cut them down. It's a good way to cut down bushes. Just like that. Just throw logs. Here we go! Nice! Nice! Shoot me in there! Ah, eh, oh well. That's good enough. 
Oh shit. That hurt. Okay, let's burn his body. Or can we? Can we not burn his body? Yeah, we cannot pick up the big dudes or take their heads. Okay. I did not know that. Time to pull out the machete. Clear through some of this brush. Frip! I still can't see my base. Okay, so this shoots out on the trail. Still bushes in our way. There we go. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. Bam! Please reach. I want to make sure I hit this one a little bit more square than I did the last zip line. All right. Yes. Yes. I don't think that one's as far away as the other one, but kind of don't have a choice because it kind of veers off this hill, goes down. It's kind of pointless to go any further than this. Test it out. These are excellent zip lines, man. Yes. Yes. So far, so good. I wish we could reinforce those, but we cannot. On to the next. This is kind of the same situation where it drops off a cliff. So let's see how far out it goes. Got a lot of shrubs. Yeah, it drops off a cliff pretty quick right here. Even though we are up pretty high. Damn, there's a big rock right there too. Shit. Yeah, we can't go too far down with this one. Cut down a tree. Crap! It's so satisfying. Look at that. Ah. I thought someone was sneaking up on me. Okay, let's see if we can line this up. About, like, maybe right here. Yeah, that's good enough. There we go. Put that up. I just hope this works. I highly doubt it's going to, though. Let's reload. Bam! Mm. Hit it square in the nipple. Yeah. I think that's not going to work. We'll give it a whirl. Rock! Oh, we missed it. Nice. All right, let's go back up. Miss it, miss it, miss it. Ah! I dig it, man. I dig it. Okay, one more. I'm going to take these damn things down. Well, no, not that one. These two. Uh-oh. See a dude. Cut the street down real quick. There we go. Hit him. Hit him! Oh. Missed him. All right, man. I don't want to decapitate this guy. Damn, put that away. I'm going to pull out the axe. Well, that didn't feel too good. Try that again, sir. I'm going to see if I can block you. Come on. Was that your arm? Did you lose an arm? What the hell? That's an arm. But you still have your arm. Or was that a hand? I am so confused. I think he's bleeding out, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, he died. Oh, and he had a sack skin. Perfect. Damn it. We can't open anymore. Oh, we've got another contender. Come on, watch him, watch him. <laughs> oh, man. Why are you scared now? These dudes, I swear. Do you have a sack skin? Watch this. I try to open one now. Oh, it worked. Strange. Okay, let's try to open another one. Now they're opening. They weren't before. I'm going to open all of them. Got some goodies, man. It's like opening a pack of Pokemon cards. See, it says full again. Oh, well. At least I can pick this one up. Where'd it go, sir? Where'd the damn sack skin go? You got to be kidding me. Where the hell did it go? Sir, do you have a sack skin? I may have picked it up. I don't know. Anyway, we need his bones. Let's see if I can chuck him over the wall. 
<laughs> Watch this. Let's try it again. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, sir. Sorry. Watch this. You have to, like, hit G. Damn it, man. It's kind of hard to time. Very hard to time. <laughs> Almost. We'll just leave him there. Okay, so... Kind of in the brush. There is a lot of brush in this game. Okay. Yeah, we're going to stretch this one out really far. That's what he said. It's alright. I'm not getting demonetized. It was a tasteful joke. Shut up. Okay, that's about as good as it gets. There we go. Grappling gun. Okay. Please reach. Oh my god, this is a long shot. Right there. Oh, yes! Damn, that's a long zip line. Shazam! Damn, I nailed that. Okay. So we have zip lines going on all four corners of the base. If we need to get to any particular place, we can just go that way. There are a couple places that I want to continue to zip line to, like maybe a train system of zip lines. But I don't know. The base is coming along. Let's grab those bodies. Oh, they despawned. You know, this game never lags on me, ever. OBS might drop a few frames, but... It's so strange that the reason it doesn't lag is because everything despawns so quick. Like, my bodies were right there, ready to burn, and now they're gone. And I guarantee you big dude out there is gone too. Yes, he is. It's kind of unrealistic that, uh, you know, they just disappear. But it's also unrealistic to set fires on wood platforms too. I heard somebody scream. Oh, we have a victim. A woman? Hello, ma'am. I 3D printed these arrows. You want to see them? They're pretty cool. Yeah, come a little closer. Little closer. You don't have to scream at me, ma'am. I'm right here. Come a little closer. A little closer. What's wrong? Why'd you walk upon me? Calm down, man. Making all that damn noise. Yep. First candidate for the chandelier. We got to build a fire in here. Man, it looks so clean in here. I love it. Uh, well, let's toss her down. <laughs> um, let's build a fire. Right there. Yeah, nice. Yes. Yes! Let's see if we can place some rocks down on it, man. Make us a nice fire. There we go. Perfect. Okay. On you go, ma'am. Turn you into a chandelier. Well, her hand's in it. Does that count? Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, love this game. We gotta get our table built. Let's do that real quick. Wait a minute. Did you guys just see that? I think... What? I have two logs. She turned to bones. Dude, I've still got two logs. Strange. Very strange. This game is still a bit buggy. In fact, we got our skull. You guys are going to think I'm cheating or some shit. Anyway, let's build our chair first. <laughs> let's sit down. Let's take a load off. Ah, you smell the wind coming in through the house? It's nice. I love it. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Speaking of going to work, we need some rope. I'm going to hunt this area, see if I can find some tribes. As a matter of fact, I know where one is. It got defeated or destroyed by a bunch of mutants. I wonder if they rebuild. I'm going to go by and check. Let's take the zip line.
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so across the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. There is a cannibal tribe right on the other side of this. At least there was until it got destroyed by mutants. And then I came over and destroyed the mutants and knocked down all their tents. But I'm curious to see if tribes rebuild. I don't know if they do or not, but we're going to find out because we need some rope. And Virginia made her way back over here, which is strange. I don't know why she likes it over here. I know exactly why she likes it over here. Look at that waterfall. That is gorgeous. Such beauty in this game. How dare you? How dare you say this game sucks? Even if this was called Walking Simulator, I would enjoy it want to walk through this bitch you know okay anyway their uh, tribe is at the top of this cliff their campsite i should say not their tribe well it is their tribe but you get what i'm trying to say yeah i hear i hear mutants lots of them so this camp has been completely decimated Okay, we're going to have to pull out the shotgun for this one. I think we've got some buckshot left. Okay, we are set up on buckshot now. Is that all we had? I think we've only got one round left. All right, let's put this up. Put it up. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's two of them. It's pathetic. I think it sees us. Yeah, but there is a, there is a camp up here. It's got one pair of butt cheeks and two bodies. I mean, all I'm seeing is those things. I don't see anything else. Well, let's introduce ourselves. Hey, guys. Or is there just two? No, there's three of them for sure. All right, well, let's take care of business. There's four of them. There's two dead. God, those things are hideous. Is that a male and a female? I am confused. One has a face and the other has what looks like I won't say. Thank God we had some buckshot. Where's that other one? It went way down here. Yeah, four of those doubled armed body dudes or whatever you want to call them. Twins. Let's call them twins. We are Si... <laughs> the hell was that? We are Siamese if you... <laughs> oh. My God. I'm going to skin this dude if you don't mind. You guys mind? Don't get close to me. I've got buckshot. Come on, sir. Quit looking at me like that. Do you see this stick that I am wielding? Guess not. Do you see the stick that I am wielding? It's not a regular stick. I promise you that. Okay, well, you can keep rushing me. It's going to be the same story every time. That's too late. You got too close. That hurt. And he died. Oh, God. They never learn. I wanted them to live, but apparently they didn't want to live. Well, let's skin them up. See if they dropped any sack skins. Bro, what are you doing? Bro, bro, what are, you, what are you doing? Why did you just eat that, you stupid son of a bitch? Well, I just ate an arm or tasted it. Sack skins? Anyone? Man, broke cannibals, man. Why can't I run into a pack of cannibals that have a bunch of sack skins so I'm assuming that those cannibals got run out of their tribe by these mutants and when I handled the mutants they showed up like hey speaking of mutants where the hell are they ah they despawned already see what I mean man I think stuff despawns a bit too quick uh oh got some more mutants up here okay let's do it those things move the creepiest of anything in this game. 
I cannot stand the way these things move. They're so damn fast. And they're blind. See, watch. Let's see if old buddy comes through the bushes. Do you hear that? Where am I hearing shit? Who just shot? I just heard a shot. Oh my God. It's Virginia. She came and saved the day. Howdy, my lady. Thank you so much for helping me out. Anyway. All right, rope. She came to my freaking rescue. That was so sweet of her. Bam. No rope. No rope. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh. I see him. I see him, baby. You going to shoot him? You have a gun. You know that, right? Why are you? What are you doing? You have a gun. Yeah, that's a gun. Don't point it at me. Here he comes. Get ready. <laughs> shoot him again. Come on. The hell? Shoot him. Shoot him. There you go. You're okay? What? It's okay. Calm down. I think that's his wife. Shoot her. Yeah, <laughs> shoot her too. <laughs> Shazam! Oh, come on, hit it. Yeah! Do it again. Oh, she's dead. No, sh shoot! You have a, a pew pew. You have a pew pew. Shoot her! <sighs> Gee whiz. Virginia, sometimes I question your judgment. Okay, he don't have no sack skins. Yeah, there isn't a single, single bit of rope out here, man. We're going to search the perimeter for some more. God, I wish I could knock that down. That is terrible. Man, so nice. Let's see over this cliff. See how high up we are. You know, this would be a good spot for, like, a cliff base. That's something I've always wanted to build. Was, you know, like a Pigeon Forge cliff base with a view just like this. This reminds me of Tennessee. This is strange. I could build, like, a cliff base right here up in the air a little bit with a view. This literally looks just like the cabin I rented from uh, Gatlinburg. It was about this much of a drop off and it was just nothing but trees as far as the eye could see you can see the beach from here and everything look at that beach is right there man this is one steep cliff i'd be crapping my pants if i was standing here in real life what is this we should be able to see our base from up here yeah i do see it oh my god I legit can see my base from up here. Man, if I had a zip line come in here, that would be insane. I wonder if that would be possible. I really wish I could mark this spot on the map. Man, that would be one hell of a zip line. Anyway, we got to get down, man. God, the sounds. Get me back up in my base, man. Holy crap. Safe at last. Look at this place. Looks dope. Let's see if we can finish this. Make it look doper. Ah, we need three more skulls. Anyway, let's sleep. Okay, tis daytime. Let's get the hell out of here. Somebody told me that there's so much rope on the beach, you just find it laying everywhere. So that's why we're here. I want to test that theory. Found more ammo. Ooh, grenade. 
Grenades are good. You know, in one episode, what I want to do, I want to comb the beaches. Like every single beach. Just walk around the entire island. See what I can find. That would take forever. But with the magic power of editing, I could make it a watchable video. I've combed a lot of this beach and I haven't found shit. There's rope everywhere, Vlad. All over the beaches. You just walk on the beach. You know what I want to do? I'm going to do this right now, bruh. Right now. I'm going to go get me another pistol. I know this is stupid. I know there's an easier way to get a pistol. I know there's a better spot. But I'm mad, Vlad. Let's set up a tent. I also kind of want to get eaten by a shark. See what that's like. I'll tell you what we'll do, though. We'll put on our wetsuit. That thing's awesome. You can go light speed in water with that thing on. There we go. Got our wetsuit on and our flippity flops. Put that up. Put that up. Let's go for a swim. See if we can see any sharks. Yeah, we're hauling ass. We can probably swim faster than sharks in this thing. Not in real life, but in the game. You never know. Look how fast we are going. It's stupid. Oh my god. We're going to swim right up on that bitch, too. We don't even care. There we go. Get up there. There we go. Poor guy. Let's grab another gun. Yeah. Got us another pistola. Man, I want to see this shit. Can I get on top of this? Oh, yeah. Those things are big. I wonder if I could kill it. Let's reload. Oh, it's already got bullets in it. Two shots. God. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. That was even bigger. Right in the eye. Did I kill it? I think I killed it. Yeah, sharks are huge in this game. Yeah, I think they're both dead. Well, that kind of sucks. I wanted to see if we could carry him to shore or something. Guess not. Look at him living his best life. <laughs> oh, no, there it is. Yeah, just dies. Get the hell out of here. Let's swim back. Tell you what. I want to swim this way. Got to be something over there. That's the end of the beach. Damn. Did you go away? Never ending amount of sharks out here. God, there's a lot. <gasps> what the hell? Yeah, that's a dead shark. That is a legit dead shark. Oh my God. Those things are huge. I'm getting the hell out of here. Turbo swim. You'll never catch me in my slippery wetsuit with floppity fins. <laughs> Uh-oh. What am I seeing? More a-holes on the beach. Oh, my God. There's five of them. And a ringleader. We've got a pistol. we got a ton of pistol ammo. See what they do. Yeah, that's right. I'm a seal. Or, or, or. And you're dead. You're dead too. And you. Your whole family's dead, sir. I know you're not dead. Don't play that shit with me. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Dude, what the hell? Go to sleep. <laughs> Rope! See, anybody drop one of them sack skins? Huh? Yes! Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, another one! These dudes were rich! Another one! 
Damn, I gotta open some of these. These guys like Rob One-Eyed Willie or something. Ah, damn it, we can't open them. As soon as we run into a pack of rich cannibals, we can't carry anything. And it's funny, we just found rope literally sitting right there on the beach. We gotta get out of this wetsuit, man. It's slowing us down. Now we have full creepy armor. Got our pistol back. Maybe we'll outfit it. Let's see here. There we go. Nice. Let's put a suppressor on it. Suppressor, not silencer. Maybe we'll throw a laser sight on that thing. I don't know. I, th I think the laser sight kind of sucks. It's definitely for like hip firing because that completely screws with our vision. Why don't they put it on the bottom? I don't understand. Never seen anybody with a laser sight on the top of their gun. Hmm. Look at this. Ooh, more rope. It's festive. I like it. I li oh, I like the head inside the chest cavity. That's nice. And the fingers and the, all the holes and stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, let's test our aim out with this thing. See how well it works. Uh, let's see. This is going to be kind of hard. Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> yeah, that's that's sinister. I like that. Silent but deadly. I don't know how I feel about the laser sights though. Sounds like there is a mutant nearby. Nose is itching. Whoa. Here we have a cannibal camp that has been absolutely destroyed. You know what that means. It's turd time. Bombs away, baby. <laughs> oh! They got literally killed well, almost everything in the entire camp. Get in there. Boom. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, man. Get that shit out of here. Sir, I saved your camp. Pay me later. Or now. Now would be good. The hell are you doing, man? <laughs> That's so great. I love that. All right. Well, that was interesting. <sighs> no rope. This place sucks. Hey, ma'am. There's a boat motor right here. You might be able to hang on to it and go back to a uh, civilized place. What do you? That's a torso. How do you know that's your boyfriend? Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. That's a torso. That <sighs> yeah. Get this shit out of here, man. Garbage, man. I don't know what we did, man, but apparently we disrupted the balance of things. Because at one point, there were no mutants on the surface. So there was a cave that we breached, I think, that opens up the caves, like the, the mutants cave systems into the open world. I, I don't know. But you guys have no idea, no idea how much time <laughs> I've put into these videos the past two weeks, man. It's been non-stop. I did kind of have a break. I got sick, but that wasn't really a break. I worked my ass off till I was sick. Then I got sick, then I got better, and then went right back to it. And springtime is coming up. We're gonna have to do some spring cleaning. So I might have to take a, maybe a couple days to a week off, get my house in order, <laughs> cause it's looking bad. This might be an exit. I don't know. Okay, we're stocked up. We're getting the hell out of here. I wanted to let you guys know to watch out for YouTubers that cheat on this game because they are rampant, especially the building YouTubers. I'm not going to say no names. They know who they are, and it's pretty pathetic. For instance, my base took me about three to four days to build. 
And it's like 10 hours a day I play this game. The building in this is extremely slow compared to the other game. Which, you know, I kind of like. It takes a lot more work to get something done. Then you see these YouTubers with these massive skyscrapers saying it took them four to seven hours to build. And they haven't even beat the damn game yet. It's like we have another camp overrun by mutants. It's grenade time. Bombs away! Mm. Boom. <laughs> the grenades in this game are great. All right. Uh, Y'all want to play? Let's play. That was a slug. Yep. Think I'm out of buckshot. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> God, man, when them things run. There we go. He's dead. Them things are terrifying when they take off running, man. Ugh. Hey, you guys got any rope? Yep, right there. Bam. More rope. More rope. Excellent. Ooh, a skin sack pouch that I can't pick up. It's funny, when I'm full on stuff, I get tons of skin sacks. Yeah, all of these tribes have been taken over by mutants. It's kind of nutty, buddy. But we're almost home. We'll get the chandelier built, put up a couple more things, and uh, we'll be ready for the next update. There's another camp up here somewhere pretty close to where Kelvin is. It's been abandoned for quite some time. There's more rope. Yeah, this is a good spot for rope. More rope. Uh, now we're full on rope. Finally, for once. Yeah, this spot right here, man. This is where it's at. Yeah, every single box had rope in it. And wouldn't you know it, it's right next to our damn base. And... Man, that looks so cool. That is one dope base. Let's see if we can get it done. What? You can only carry three skulls? That's all I need is three more. And how many more bones? Five more bones? What? We're never going to get that thing done. Anyway, I'm saving the game. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this base down in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you stupid? Do you want to uh, sit up on my bench with me and look out amongst the trees? Let me know. I'll hold your hand. We'll listen to the rain, fall asleep together. Again, guys, thank you so much for hitting the like button. That about does it for this video. Still got a lot to do on the game. Can't wait for the update. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one.